All right, good afternoon, everyone. We'll take questions for Avalanche forward, Miko Rantanen, Peter Baugh, The Athletic. Hey, Miko, how are you doing? Good, thanks. Good. Um, I guess to start, how are you feeling? And um, ha did you have many symptoms when you were when you were out? No, I, I was asymptomatic the whole time. Uh, yeah, it was a, obviously a long quarantine for me. It was nine, nine days, I think so. But uh, yeah, I didn't have any symptoms. So I, I think that was a, it was a good thing. Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey now. How close do you feel that you're to full strength now? Well, yeah, I got, I have three practices here. One yesterday, today, and, and one tomorrow. And, and then, then I'm ready for sure. So I uh, feel better every day. Back to Peter Bobby Athletic. Sorry, I was getting, I was moving my computer. Um, just looking at your your season so far, um, how would you evaluate kind of your performance and what are you kind of hoping to improve in this next little stretch? Yeah, I think a slow start like the whole team and, and uh, for me too, you know, big part of the team and a little slow start, but then we got going like after, after 10 games, I would say, and and uh, the game felt pretty good before the break uh, for the whole team and, and for me, myself, too. So so I think we're building in the right direction, uh, the whole team and, and myself, too. Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. We all know where hockey ranks on the list of priorities in the real world, all the things that are going on, but how, is uns how unsettling has this long break been for, and uh, the kind of the in and out nature of the guys on the COVID protocols. Can you repeat? I didn't. I didn't really catch what's the question. Can in the real anything? world, in in the real world, we know where hockey ranks. But uh, how unsettling has all the the COVID protocol absences and and the the delay in getting on with the season? How how unsettling has it been for you as a team? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I think for us and for every team in the league, it's it's. Uh, it's kind of kind of sucks when guys are guys are dropping. You never know when, and and uh, kind of like in Nashville, we had that situation. But but uh, I think we're we're over it now, and hopefully we can we can get going and uh, hopefully almost almost uh, back to normal and keep our uh, lineup uh, healthy. I'll take two more here for Miko Rick Sadowski, NHL.com. Hi Miko, good to see you again. Um, it looks like you're going to be close to a full roster on Sunday for probably the first time in it seems like forever. Just pretty excited about that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's exciting. You know, we we have a good team. Uh, even when we had guys out, we were still finding ways to win and and uh, to have a almost full lineup and hopefully full lineup. Uh, it's it's going to be it's going to be important for us going uh, going on the second half of the season and and pushing for a good uh, good seed in the, into the playoffs. And last one here, Peter Bobby Athletic. Nico, do you have any New Year's resolutions? Uh, no, I, I've never, I've never done those. All right, thank you, Nico. Thank you. All right, we'll take questions for Avalanche forward Logan O'Connor, Peter Bobby Athletic. Hey, Logan, how are you doing? Good, thanks. How are you guys? I'm good. Um, I guess just how are you feeling now and what was uh, the level of symptoms you had while you were out with COVID? I feel pretty good. I tried to, you know, do what I could to stay in somewhat shape over that break. Obviously not ideal, but um, I had a headache for about two days and, you know, that's about the extent of my symptoms. So it was pretty mild, um, just common cold type uh, symptoms for me. Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. How did it feel on the ice today? How close are you to being back at full strength, you think? I mean, I think I'm already there, um, you know, conditioning wise, two good solid practices have definitely helped, um, you know, three skates going into the game is, uh, you know, huge to get get those under your belt, just, you know, get the touch back get the, the lungs back a little bit, the legs. So I definitely feel good. And, you know, with one more practice tomorrow, um, should be ready to roll. Peter Bobby Athletic. Yeah, I guess it, this time off offers some time to reflect, I guess, how have you felt about your performance so far this season and what do you want to either keep doing or improve going into the rest of the year? Uh, I think it's been pretty solid. Um, you know, try and just stay with some consistency in my game. That's a big thing, you know, especially down the stretch here. Um, you know, a lot of games in short amount of time here now that we, uh, you know, had these breaks right now, we're a little behind in regards to games played. 
Um, I think a big thing is sort of starting to capitalize a little more on my chances. That's something I want to focus on in the new year here. Uh, I feel as though, you know, I get, you know, a decent amount of opportunities, but need to sort of put those in the back of the net. And, uh, you know, that hopefully that'll help the team have more success and hopefully we can get, you know, fully healthy and, you know, start going on a bit of a roll here. Terry Fry, Colorado Hockey Now. I know you've probably been asked about this many times, but you, early in your stay at DU, you were a frequent scratch for much of that year. During that period, did you ever wonder whether you'd ever see this day when you're an established, deep-rooted NBA NHL player? It was definitely, you know, a dream, obviously, at that point to, uh, you know, get here. But it was hard to see at that time, just based on where I was at in the lineup. Um, being out of the lineup for, I think, 15, 20 games straight is definitely hard to see, you know, beyond that. And you're sort of getting frustrated. But, you know, when that was going on, just tried to stick to my identity, play to the details, and be a really good teammate. I think that's the biggest thing is just help those around you. And, uh, you know, thinking of where I've come from there, it's definitely, uh, you know, pretty crazy to think about. But I think a lot of it goes towards, you know, hard work and just playing to my game and constantly trying to improve day in and day out. All right. Thank you, Logan. Thank you, guys.